Hello. 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 Hi, Dewey. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, so, what did you do today? What did you do today? What did you do I today? My oh, you play with your neighbor. Did you also have other classes? Today I play with my neighbor. All right, so now let's start our class. We are now in reading and writing, and this will be our first no. activity. Can you please read this? Analyst, an I to select, pilots, floor. A co rice, a knife, a pizza, scissors, a subject. The last one? Dentist. Okay, this one, it's flour. It's flour. Please repeat after me, flour. Flour. Very good. So you have to choose the words here to answer this. Can you please read the example? It's made of different kind of fruits and you can eat it. The answer is? Jam. Okay, do not shout, I can hear you. All right, now please answer or write your answer in numbers one to five. To number one, please write your answer. Oh. Are you okay? Yes.
All right, please read the sentences and your answer. You can like this with a lot of different vegetables, but you don't, don't cook it, it's salad. Mm -hmm. This is someone who works in the theater in film, films are on TV. It's a natural. Mm -hmm. You can use this for cutting paper art. You can scissors. This has kind of bread at the bottom with cheese and tomatoes on top of it. And you cook it. Pizza, eat pizza. Mm -hmm. You go to this person when you have to take and he or she helps you. All right, let's See if you got all the correct answer. Number one, you can make this with a lot of different vegetables, but you don't cook it. Salad. This is someone who works in the theater, in films, or on TV. An actor. You use this for cutting paper and card. You can cut your hair with them too. Scissor. Number four, this has a kind of bread at the bottom with cheese and tomatoes on top of it, and you cook it, a pizza. And number five, you go to this person when you have toothache, and he or she helps you. It's a dentist, very good. Now, please answer number six to 10. Okay, can you please read this? Okay, so when you make pudge, 
biscuit and, and pasta is flour. Uh huh. Number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. It's live links to all. This is something that English history of. Science is subject. Mm -hmm. If you can spell a word, you might look for it in this book, in dictionary. These people fly planes to all parts of the world. Pilot. Okay, let's, keep, let's check your work. This is white or brown, and you use it when you make cake. Oops, it's flour. Number seven, this is something that you study at school, for example, English, history, or science is a subject. Number eight, these people write for newspaper or magazines. They also work for TV or radio. It's a journalist. Number nine, if you can't spell a word, you might look for it in this book, Dictionary. And number 10, these people fly planes to all parts of the world. They pilot. Very good. You got all the correct answer. But what about you, Do Do you have a dictionary? Yes, I have. Uh-huh. And when was the last time you used it? I don't know. When was the last time you used it? I don't know when is the last time. Oh, okay. All right. Now let's continue. Part two. Look and read. But before that, can you please describe the picture? It's a it has a castle with a bear in the road. Uh -huh. Um, the princess in the llama and go. Um, uh, man with a dog are playing. Mm hmm. Two no. girls are drawing. Um, crocodile and giraffe. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Okay, very good. Now, I want you to read these sentences and tell me if it's yes and no. Yes, if you can see it in the picture, and no, if not. Did you hear me? Yeah. Okay.
Can you please read this? The crocodile to try to get uh, into the cave. It's no. Um, one of the dog is walking up the hill through the tree. No. The bear is looking at the clock on the castle wall. No. Most of the flag have got a all in orange square on them. The girl with blonde hair has going uh, off to a butterfly. Yes. The queen is riding a drop brown horse with a long neck. No. The man is throwing a ball into the water. No. Very good. You got all the correct answers. Good job. Let's continue. In part three, Michael is talking to his friend Alex about school. What does Alex say to Michael? Read the conversation and choose the best answer. Write a letter <coughs> A to H for each answer. You do not need to use all the letters. There is one example. So here's the conversation and here's the letter. Can you please read all the letters? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. All right, so can you please answer this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got the correct answer. Number one, A. Number two, E. Number three, G. Number four, B, number five, H. So you've got the correct, you've got the re correct answer. Can you please read this? She was in a school today, I remember now. No, she wasn't. She stayed home all day. Why? Is she ill? Yes, she is, but only a cold. Will she be at school tomorrow? I think she will be, but I'm not sure. Well, we're, we're going to have math class. Te math test in the morning. Of course I will, Michael. Good. 
to do. Me too. See you tomorrow. Okay. What about you doing when you are sick? You don't go to school too? Yeah. What do you do then? Do you go to the hospital? Do you go to the hospital? No, so I will stay at home and my grandmother will stay with me. Oh, that's sweet. Me. All right, so for our next activity, we have words in the box. Can you please read it? Help, terrible, turn, find, happy, show. Drive. All right, now please answer them. I'm sorry the Zoom got out. Please continue. Um, yeah. My name is Nick. I live with my mom and dad and our cat. Bill, last weekend we moved to a new house. So I help my parents. I carry my toys out to the car. Some men came to take the sofa, um, chairs, table, cupboards, and beds to our new house. The sofa was very heavy, so it was difficult to move. We left at It was heavy, so it was difficult to move. We left at 12 o'clock and later in the afternoon, we have... Uh, 
happy at the new house. We we put my bed in my new bedroom and my toys. Uh, some shelves there in the evening. We were sitting down to have something to eat when Dad said, Where's Bill? We we couldn't. Um, okay, you know what? We couldn't have him anywhere. Oh, dear, Mom said. Perhaps we left him at the old house. We all got in the car and went by to see we'll be what waiting in the garden when we arrive he was very happy to see us okay very good you got four correct answer good job do you have okay for the last one And for the last one. Um, we would like the new one. Bill has to wait. I think it's a perfect name of the story. Mm -hmm. Correct answer is very good. What about you, do you? Uh, do you have shelves in your in your house in your room? What can you say it again? Do you have bookshelves in your house or in your home? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of books too? Yes. Oh, okay. And what do you read book there too? Uh, yeah. All right, so now part five, we have seven questions. Look at the picture and read the story. Write some words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one to four words. Can you please read the story first? Um, every day after school, Emma wrote in her diary. She sometimes drew little pictures to, in it too. After lesson, Emma's friends always said, come and play with us. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll go to the park. No, said Emma, I can't. She went straight home, took out her diary and wrote about all her school friends. She always carries her diary in the pocket of her bag. Emma's best friend, Katie, asked, 
What do you write about? It's a secret. Emma answered. One day, Emma saw her sister Helen with Katie in the street. She followed them and listened to them carefully. Then she could hear them, but they couldn't see her. They talk. Uh, they talk about a lot of interesting. And that evening, Emma wrote about them in her diary. The next day, Emma drove her diary. If fell on the floor under her desk in the classroom. Katie saw Emma's diary there and began to read it. She was angry and went to find Emma in the playground. I fold your diary, she said. You shouldn't follow people and write about them. I'm sorry, Katie. Emma, but please read the next page too, it said. April 6th. I like Katie very much. I like you too, said Katie, but please don't follow me like that again. And Emma never did. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, for examples, we have Emma wrote in her diary each day. In her diary, Emma also drew little pictures. Now, please answer the rest. Can you please read it? Emma's friends played in the in the um, park after school, but Emma didn't go with them. Emma always read Emma's diary was away in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Emma's friend played in the park after school, but Emma didn't go with them. Number two, Emma always wrote about all her friends in her diary. Number three, Emma's diary was always in the pocket. You got the correct answer here. Now please answer four to seven.
I'm sorry, Doi, the Zoom got out again. Please continue. Um, yes, what's my answers? Oh, I don't know, I couldn't see. Please read your answer. Helen and Katie were in street when Emma saw them. Mm -hmm. The two girls stayed along the next day, Katie for Emma's diary under her desk. Um, um, not to follow her again. Mm -hmm. Again, Helen and Katie were in street when Emma saw them. Number five, the two girls are. The two girls said a lot of interesting things and Emma heard about it. Number six, the next day, Katie found Emma's diaries under her desk. Mm -hmm. Or the answer is her bag, not desk. And number seven, Katie told Emma not to follow her again. So you got the correct you got six correct answers. Good job. What about you? Do you have diary? No, I don't have. Mm, okay. All right. So, Dewey, since it's already our time, we have to end it here. And we are just going to continue tomorrow. All right? Thank you so much for tonight. And see you again. Good night. Bye.